at the end of the last year, I started working on my Udemy course. What I initially thought would take only a couple of weeks, actually took several months, only to find out later on that the sound quality was so bad that it didn't pass the selection criteria for with the Udemy. My course had so much background noise that I thought it was beyond repair. Uh, I used Audacity for noise reduction, but the results were actually worse than the original file. And this is because Audacity noise reduction reduces the, the sound quality of the file, especially with a lot of background noise and the voice then sounds very tinny and even equalizers don't help it much. So I put my course on a back burner and moved on. But the other day I came across this VST plugin called Isotope RX plugin. VST plugins are pieces of software which can be hosted by uh, video editing software and they can affect the sound. You know, I'll show you how it works later. And hosting applications can be, for example, Adobe, Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro or DaVinci Resolve, which I'm going to use in this short tutorial. Even Audacity uses VST plugins. However, I haven't tried this particular plugin with Audacity, although online you can find some notions that it might work. Isotope RX plugin has a fully functional version which uh, lasts for 10 days. That should be enough time to help you fix any background noise issues that you might have. This is the website where you can download your RX plugin pack. And uh, it gives you a few plugins and we're gonna use mostly this one dialog denoise. So let's get into it. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve. This is a free software. The professional version is often used in Hollywood movie production. DaVinci Resolve is known as a software mainly used for color grading, but over the last couple of years, it got editing features similar to Adobe Premiere or Final Cut Pro. However, VST plugins work in many different video editors, not just this one. This is my course cut up into different sections and I have three timelines here. My course was filmed at three different locations and each of those locations have different sound issues. You can see sound levels are different. This one is very high and these two are lower, but this one at the bottom has different issues than the one to the, at the top. So this timeline here was shot at the park. Uh, and I'll let you listen to the, to the issues that it has. Listen to the mating cicadas at the background. ...and most great minds used to keep their diaries. But what you notice, these diaries are now bought from a news agency. Pretty bad, isn't it? And uh, this one here has, uh, uh, has issues with the uh, fan in the back, back, uh, background. Listen to it. The bottom paper you can use as a guide for your pencil to make it nice and neat, just like While levels on this one are recorded way too high, listen to it. When you finish writing your entry, simply the docky bookmark. I have a great tip for you regarding sound design. It's no secret that built-in audio in cameras will rarely deliver satisfactory results. Cameras with built-in microphones will pick up a lot of background noise, while cameras where you can plug microphone in with, through a jack will also deliver bad results because usually pre-amplifiers and cameras are very noisy, so you don't get nice and clean audio. Your best option for capturing quality audio for your courses is to use audio recorder like Zoom H1. I'll show you how it what it looks like. So so this is it, and um, they are rel relatively cheap. They cost about one hundred and twenty dollars, hundred to one hundred and twenty dollars, and they have exceptionally quiet preamplifier, which will capture your voice without any hum coming from the device. 
Also, Zoom H1 doubles as a USB microphone, so you get your money worth. Okay, back to editing. Let's have a look at the first timeline. This was filmed at the park. Bacho Diary is a simple solution to an annoying problem. You can hear the mating cicadas in the background. Now I'll show you how we can reduce it a little bit. So we go here to Effects Library and go to Audio FX. And here I already installed the plugin. I'm not going to show you how to install it because it's probably slightly different for each different software and you can, you can easily Google it. But here are the plugins. So what we do, we take the plugin, we drag it onto the timeline and we show it here. So click it and here it shows. Plugin shows here. So we go and we have an auto mode and let's listen to it. I used to have a, a journal, a diary, a sketch pad and several notebooks all for different subjects. Now you can hear that background noise is much quieter. But what we're gonna do now is to make it even more quieter. So we'll take the plugin and drop it again on the same timeline. Now we have two of them, one and two. Let's listen to it now. I used to carry them around, keep things organized and annoying. So several years ago, I thought of a solution that would uh, allow me to put all these things together in one single... Much better, isn't it? What I found when the video is rendered, uh, the auto mode actually takes a time to figure out what are the noises and what are the sounds to keep. So when you have a rendered video, the beginning of the clip will be noisy and after about 5-10 seconds, the noise decreases. So what, what we're going to do is to run the audio, run the video, and then wait until the plugin finds which noises to suppress. And then we switch off auto mode. Then later we'll do the same thing with the second instance of the plugin. So let's go for it. These diaries are now bought from a news agent where you have prescribed the days uh, and months and, and it tells you what to do and how much space you are supposed to have for, for various entries. I'm mostly just okay, a so blank or line pages. You can see that. So we reduced the first part of the noise and now we're going to do reduction on that reduction. So let's switch this one on and let's run it and we're gonna wait until it finds which noise is to suppress and leave only the voice see that all grades of our civilization they used to have them very dear to their heart okay. keep them preserve them they're bound they they held an Twain, for example had his name imprinted on the leather cover of his, his diary when you when you look at diaries of benjamin franklin Edison, you can see. Not too bad, what do you think compared to what it used to be before? All right, so I'm going to do the rest with, with the other timelines. Now we reduced almost all the background noise and we can render the course. So let's just check the, the sound levels, if they come to the same level. So we are looking at the masters and we try to adjust slaves here. So this is first audio track, second audio track and third audio track. Now let's see. So we have first audio track here and let's uh, look I, what I it need to comes find to. Certain, certain. So we do, where do I write it? Well, here comes referencing. So for example, try second track and we'll see what's the noise level there. Quick efficiency tip for opening diary without searching for the last entry too much. It sounds pretty good. It's also around the yellow area. And let's see the third one. Bacho diary is a 
that annoying problem. I used to have a okay. calendar, journal, diary, sketch pad, and several. Maybe I want to put it a little bit higher. To keep things organized. And I found it really annoying. So several years ago, I thought of a solution that would uh, allow. Okay, this sounds pretty good. Let's go and render the video. One thing in rendering, having to resolve, you can render individual clips or you can render it as a single clip. I'm not sure if this is a glitch in the program or it is a design, but when you, when you render the video as individual clips, the VST effects wouldn't apply to it. So we have to render it as a single clip. So we go, we choose the size, what we want to do. Let's say Vimeo 180p. Uh, this is the resolution, frame rate 25 is fine. And uh, this is good. All right, so audio, fine. File, we choose where you want it. So let's just put custom name, Baccio diary and add to render queue. Let's put it here and under my video projects and we put it in Baccio diary and here. Okay. And put rendering. Go and render. Okay, so now we rendered the whole course in one big file. This is it. Open the file file location. And this is the file. It's five gig. Now we need to cut it up into, into the lessons. Now we have to cut it up into individual files. One option we have is to load it into video editing software, cut it up into pieces and export it into individual clips. So here you select individual clip instead of single clips. However, better solution is to use something like video splitter, which wouldn't require to re-encode the video and therefore it wouldn't affect the quality of the file. The most straightforward video splitter I found is Solveig video splitter, which makes it very convenient to chop long video files into individual clips without re-encoding the video, which means there will be no quality loss. And I quickly show you how to how to chop it up. So let's open the big file that we have. Just drag it in here. And drag it down here. And here you can see it will render the, the audio track. That, and because the clips that we rendered in the other video editing software were, had little gaps there, you can see it here. As a, as a quiet part. So all we do here is we find the beginning of the file. We can move left and right arrows and go N means beginning of the file. N means end of the file. Find another piece. Go N, start of the start of the clip. N finished of the clip. And let's do one more and then we go file, save all fragments as, and here uh, it asks us if we want to save the clips in, in between the cuts, or well, let's say no. And let's try here, make a new folder, let's put individual, individual clips, open, save. We will work a little bit on the file. There we go. It's done. Let's check it out. There we go. Let's put videos, individual clips. One, two, three. Let's check the quality. And the calendar entries are. And then. Nice, what quiet video. Let's check another one. You can make wrote down all the side, just cross them out. Good. 
really annoying. Oh. Describe the days uh, and they they held in Mark Twain, for example, had his name imprinted on the leather. Not too bad. Definitely better than before. Cool. Thank you for watching. Bye.